What's up, guys? So, Delvin Cook has officially been released for the Dolphin, from the Vikings for a while, but I'm going to tell you guys who I predict as where he is signing to. CBS Sports has helped me on this one, but CBS Sports predicts Delvin Cook's newest team. December 9th, uh, alright, the Minnesota Vikings raised the Elvin Cook last week after roughly three months of speculation about his future on the Vikings. The move saved the Vikings $9 million in cap space and allowed Cook a fresh start for the second, for his second chapter of his so far illustrious career. Now, Cook will latch onto a new NFL team before so long, and if CPS Sports is correct, that will be the Miami Dolphins, in my opinion, is that it will be the Miami Dolphins just because I think the Dolphins are going to try to create a new super team. Tutu Gabayola can prove that he's a top 10 quarterback with healthy. And then if you have a Dallin Cook, that's going to be great. And the Dolphins, as he and it's what would surprise no one. Miami has been the number one with football at Fury since March. Why? Well, Cook is from Miami, which is a big thing, and the Dolphins could have evidently used in running back one upgrade despite resigning Raheem Mostert and Jeff Wilson this offseason, first drafting Texas A&M's Devon Archenay. CBS Sports writer Tyler Suvin unveiled five bold NFL predictions for the summer, and right out of the gate in his publication, he predicted Cook to Miami. There have been a bunch of, of things that ink Delvin Cook to the Miami Dolphins. Upon his release from the Minnesota Vikings, Cook, who is a Miami native and played high school football at Miami Central, posted a photo of himself on Instagram dancing at Hard Rock Stadium, the home of the Dolphins, he explained. Delvin Cook ranks for it in Viking history with and get this guys and is and he guys and he's only 27 years old and he has and he has been first in vikings history with five that with 5993 yards basically 6000 yards only behind and get this the great adrian peterson and robert smith Sullivan continued this the club has also reported to be expressed interest in the 27-year-old. So, there could be very well be a re-signing here. But that would not make sense because they have cutted him. So, if you cut someone and re-sign him, that does not make any sense. While Miami does have a cluster of running backs, including Raheem Mustard, Jeff Wilson, and rookie Devon Anshne, Cook would immediately see in as the top dog in the backfield and join an offense that features Tyreek Hill and Jalen Waddle. Jalen Waddle is a top is in wide receiver number one. He would be a top he'd be wide receiver one on a twenty five teams at the minimum. At the minimum. He deserves to be he deserves to be it, but but, of course, since you have Tyreek Kill, you're not the number one. The Vikings are on deck to replace Cook with his teammate Alexander Madison as running back one with it with power of supporting running backs in Ty Chandler, Dwayne McBride, and Ken Nagagwe, who is the returner. Minnesota hasn't featured a running back by commit since the days of Michael Bennett or Andrew Smith and Rondo Moore. Cook joined the Rich Eisen show on Tuesday along with the NFL Network's Tom Perusoy and said about its free agency, I want the value and I want somebody who wants Delvin Cook. So they don't, he doesn't want to join someone who just wants him because they want to win the ring. Cook added, I'm all fixed up now. My shoulder's feeling great. And like he said, you know what you're getting out of, Delvin Cook. As I step on foot 
into that locker room or on the football field, you know I'm going to be the best teammate and best eater you can get out of Devin Cook. And if, and if this, and if I am right, and if my prediction is true or accurate, the rumor would have been correct all along with the Dolphins' relationship. Miami ranked 16th in rushing last year. So, tell me, subscribe if you guys think the same. But, I hope you guys do. But, subscribe either way.